Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Preppy streetwear brand splashed together to get your drip on. Okay, this episode that I'm bringing to you guys today, I felt like this would be a great episode for you guys to get to know me a little bit, as well as other people's point of views on private school versus public school. It's genius. And just, you hear me talking a lot on my morning show about people's upbringing and just the people that shaped their lives when they were younger. So today we're just going through the dynamics and just for my own take of it, like I told you guys before, my family is from Barbados and I was born in America. But private school, when it comes to the Caribbean culture, is something that is always embedded in us if you have it to do for your kids because private school in Barbados and in the West Indies, it's almost like a norm. So when it comes to private school and public school, I never really, I have a lot of friends that went to public school as well as private school. And I never really had any comparison. I'm not really the comparison type until I got older and heard people's point of views on both sides. So I want to bring that to you guys and maybe you guys are maybe think about whether you're putting your kids in private school or public school and just the different dynamics between it. Some people have some good point of views on it and some people's point of views on this thing is just totally crazy. None of the experiences that I've experienced in private school. So yeah, and shouts out to St. John's Prep. All right, so let's just jump right into it. And if you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe. Growing up rich versus growing up poor. I grew up poor, my girlfriend grew up rich. Today our daughter got accepted into pre-K. More than excited for it. Relax. She got accepted into pre-K. And this is huge because we had to beg the school system to let her in because last year we got denied, we made too much money. But see, this sparked a conversation between me and my girlfriend. What would we have done if she didn't get accepted into pre-K? Cause she's tired of going to daycare. And see, this is where I noticed the privilege in my girlfriend. She had the gall to suggest private school to me. There's nothing wrong with private school. There's a lot wrong with it. She grew up with that option to go to private school. I went to public school, just like my other hey, under- it's, it's only $12,000. Only 12,000? Is that per year or like for the whole time that she- Per year. You $12,000 per year? It's not even that much. You're insane. What she fails to get through her mind is public school is perfectly okay. If you guys know me from any of my previous videos, you can tell my vocabulary is very, very sophisticated. That's not private school funded, Samantha. All right, I guess we're going to public school. Oh yeah, I know we're going to public school. Okay, so I just got back from orientation for my kid's new school. He's going from public to private. And at first I was like, okay, cool, you know, wear the same shirt. But as we were going through the orientation, I started feeling like bad for making him go like from public to private. Cause it's a huge difference. And I didn't realize how big of a difference it was gonna be. Like it's hard for me to like, like I feel more stressed like he's going to a new school than he do. Cause it's like, oh, I get that they were gonna wear the same shirts every day. Like the two color shirts, whatever. But it went from like, oh, they can't wear no jeans, they can't wear no hoodies, they can't wear no pullovers, they can't wear no characters, like, just plain. And it's like, I'm taking away the stuff that he likes. Like, he likes Spider-Man on his sweaters and jackets. Like, he likes character clothes. Like, he likes character shirts. So I just feel like, am I messing up? I feel like I'm messing up for putting him in a public school where he got to wear what he wanted to wear. And now I'm telling him to go to a private school where he's going to be wearing the same shirt as everyone else every day. Or the same tacky pants. Like, you can't even wear your, your cool jeans. Like, I don't know. I'm stressed about it. Jesus fixed it. But it needs to be done. Like, he needs to experience it, I think. Maybe I do. I don't know. But y'all let me know. Maybe I'm not messing up. Like, maybe it'll be good for him to, like, switch it. And also, there's more black kids at this school. Not saying nothing was wrong with his other school, but he just came to me the other day saying he doesn't like the texture of his hair. And that he wanted to look like his white friend's hair. And I'm like, baby, you're not white, you're black. Like, but he still doesn't even know what that means. And the more I keep trying to tell him like what being black means, he's like, no, like, 
I don't get to. I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. We're going to talk about it when you're a little bit older then. Like, something got to click. I'm like, but that's why your hair is the way it is. Like, and there's nothing wrong with his hair. His hair is lovely. Like, I love his hair. It's, like, curly and thick. Like, if I had your hair, mm -hmm. So, honestly, I just think it will give him a chance to realize, like, there's other kids like you around you. Because. The school, I, I don't know. It's not enough. It's not enough black people for him. I don't know. I went to a private school, primary school, yeah. Oh, yeah. And some of these men don't have a TV in their bedroom. Yeah. But you go to a black man's yard, the yeah. biggest thing must be the TV. Uh, 50 inch TV. No mm. book, no bookcase in sight, though. Mm. You see where these men don't yeah. have TV? They have bookcase in their bedroom. Up, yeah. down, book, book, I'm, book, I'm, book. I'm, You're I'm, saying I'm, what? Yeah. But it's only till I got to later on in life yeah. I realized that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, man used to go and, and like you said, youths that are quiet, they don't come to school, trainers scuff up, they have to look the nicest. Man, I've got swimming pool in well, there. But very black people, people, the kid must be shine his face, yeah, chain, put him on. Yeah. Ba babies are wearing Burberry, bro. Yeah, I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I think that's ridiculous. I don't have a youth, but my youth ain't wearing no child. Burberry. So, like, I just had to make one, but put a finger down, public high school edition. Put a finger down if you've ever walked into a group of people having a smoke session in the bathroom. Put a finger down if you have one of those people at your school who run around blasting music with a speaker in their book bag. Put a finger down if you've ever seen someone get arrested at school. Put a finger down if the drug dogs have gone into your classroom and searched all the book bags. Put a finger down if you've ever seen someone with a furry tail. Put a finger down if you've ever seen a fight break out in the lunchroom. Put a finger down if you have a male history teacher that is also a coach of some sport. Put a finger down if your principal just walks into the classroom, stands there, and then leaves. <laughs> Put a finger down if your school forces you to use a Chromebook. Put a finger down if you have a bitchy school nurse who will not let you go home no matter how sick you are. <laughs> Put a finger down if your school has a crazy ass Spanish teacher. Now, from an educator standpoint and a personal standpoint, I want to talk today about private schools. Now on a personal note, if I had a child, I would prefer to send them to a private school rather than a public school, at least for kindergarten through eighth grade. Now, if we're talking about high schools, my thought process becomes a little bit more complex. First of all, I have to make sure that that school is co-ed. And it doesn't matter what gender my child would be. I want them to have the whole experience of being able to talk to all humans because it's very unrealistic. You're not going to go out into the world and deal with people who are only male or people who are only female. Furthermore, I attended an all-boys Catholic high school in the suburbs of Chicago. And my experience was that we kind of suffered a bit socially once we graduated because I feel like we were behind because we didn't see half the equation. Now, I personally would hang out with girls from the sister school that was right next to it a lot. But for others, it may not have been that simple. Then there's the racial stigma. And this is where it gets really, really tough. Because preferably, I would want my kid at a school where all ethnic backgrounds are represented so they got to see, like, you know, what the world is really like. I also don't want them to have communication issues and things like that. However, as a black man who attended a mostly white, all-boys Catholic high school, it's difficult. I went through several bouts of depression because I was bullied, because I was outspoken and black. The black kids that didn't say much, they didn't pick fights with them. Furthermore, I was the only black kid in my class in honors classes. So being smart, outspoken, and black really seemed like it caused a problem. And don't even get me started about the racism that went around the school when Obama got elected. Or the racism I experienced on a regular basis. People dropping the N-word on a regular basis, people saying they hate black people and the teacher not doing anything about it, despite the fact that they heard it. People calling us monkeys as if they're freeze of Real quick, private schools a COVID too is doesn't have to be just boys in one school, girls in another school. That's not true. My school had girls, guys. So that's only certain different types. From Dragon Ball Z. And those are just some examples that I experienced. It honestly screwed my self-esteem and stuff for a bit. So that decision becomes that much more difficult for me if I had a choice to send my own child to one of those schools or something else. Because I look at my kid and I'm like thinking, you know, he's in yeah. private school. and Right. And then you're like, I went to public school. Me too. Like, I was public. cool. Yeah. You know? Yes. And what did I think of these fucking private school kids? That they were douchebags. Right. Probably. Yeah. It makes me wonder what happened here. Yeah. See, there's a lot of misconceptions of what people think that, you know, it's, it's you know, the reason why people think like that is because private school has to be paid for. And people look at it as if 
only wealthy people or only people that have money, but they don't really understand that you can um, pay payments just like a car and everything. But that's just a, a miseducated information out there that people follow. Just have to look into it. Right. I'm so scared of public school in city. I, I mean, no. But now They're that I've met you, I feel better. People, like, think about it. Like, yeah. like, I feel like that's what they do in private school. Like, cocaine. Coke of hookers. <laughs> <laughs> they have more money. At to do more old, coke, you know? fifth graders drink coke <laughs> off hookers' asses. That's what happens, right? They have more money in the in private schools to do more of the coke. Oh fuck! I know. Anyway, that's another. I hope thing. Sid brings me some coke when he starts doing coke. <laughs> it's been a while. Differences between public and private school. I went to undergrad at UCLA and grad school at Columbia. One's a public state school in California, the other is an Ivy on the East Coast. Here are some of the biggest differences in attending college at a public versus a private school. In terms of meeting people, at UCLA I had class sizes of like 500 people. At least in my experience, I never really talked to anyone in my classes. I made most of my friends through other clubs or organizations. At a private school, class sizes are a lot smaller and so many classes are participation based. You tend to know pretty much everyone in your class. For school spirit, because of the sheer volume of the student body, I feel like public schools are way more hype when it comes to school spirit and athletics. Sports were a huge part of UCLA's culture. Not so much the case at Columbia, at least in terms of how excited people get about it. For professors, obviously individual classes vary so much. At public school, you just kind of have to figure out things on your own, which I also think can be a very instructive experience. At private school, professors are just a lot more hands-on. This again comes with the class sizes. Obviously, undergrad versus grad school is a whole different thing. These are just the differences I notice when it comes to the way the school is set up. So like, I just had to make one, but Put a finger down, public high school edition. Put a finger down if you've ever walked into a group of people having a smoke session in the bathroom. Put a finger down if you have one of those people at your school who run around blasting music with a speaker in their book bag. Put a finger down if you've ever seen someone get arrested at school. Put a finger down if the drug dogs have gone into your classroom and searched all the book bags. Put a finger down if you've ever seen someone with a furry tail. Put a finger down if you've ever seen a fight break out in the lunchroom. Put a finger down if you have a male history teacher that is also a coach of some sport. Put a finger down if your principal just walks into the classroom, stands there, and then leaves. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in these luxury groups on Facebook, right? And these female or women are sending their children to private schools because they think that they won't be exposed to anything. As someone, a dark-skinned girl who went to private school, especially those private schools who um, where I was the only black girl those kids are worse than these black schools or these public schools that you think you're saving your children from not only do they have weed but they have other drugs because they have access to money that a lot of us poor or black people don't have access to so instead of trying to send your kids to private school because you think that they'll have like a better experience just Bless her heart, some people have a bad experience. It's all about the environment, the people you're around. Think about what you're sending them into. Please do. Because weed is not that bad <laughs> compared to cocaine, sometimes heroin, all of these drugs that you don't want your kids to see, they will have access to it because these white people have it's money. Okay, it's okay. Hello, I just wanted to get on here and share with you uh, my opinions on public versus private schools. Um, I live in Southern California, so with that being said, um, the public schools out here are probably a lot different than they are where you might live, um, whether it's Florida or Texas, I should say. Um, I was so against putting my kids into a private school. Ever since I became a mother, I was like, nope, I don't want to put my kids in private school. I don't want them to be sheltered. I want them to be cultured. So I was all about public and charter schools. Then COVID hit and all of the public schools um, shut down and everybody went on Zoom. The private schools opened a lot faster than the public schools. So we pulled our children and we put them into a private school. 
and now with us being in the school it's night and day guys night and day um for example at a public school i felt like there was no open communication with the principal i felt like if you had a concern with your child's safety regarding a bully or just i don't know something um inappropriate with the teacher uh the principal didn't care like you didn't get a response even if you showed up to the office the principal did not want to see you um now that was the experience that uh, a lot of parents had at the public school my kids were going to so i didn't like that um i just really didn't feel like my kids were really protected and safe at a public school um at the private school the principal is so personable obviously the private school is a lot smaller so she knows every uh, kid's name every student's name she knows every parent's name um, and it just feels more like a family and just more welcoming if there's any concern immediately there is an email um, back to you and I wanna I want to say this um, we had a parent-teacher conference yesterday and the thing I just love about the private school is they open up in prayer so yesterday uh, my fourth grade uh, daughter um, had her little uh, meeting with the teacher and the teacher was like I'd love to open up in prayer and she just said you know dear Heavenly Father thank you so much for blessing me with uh, this student serenity and uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be her teacher and you know she just prayed over her and I just thought that was really really special um, and I want to address this if you want to put your kids in a private school But you think you can't afford it call that school up because they have financial aid programs Nine out of ten times. So don't make that a reason why you don't put your kids in a private school call and find out Okay, from what I can see is when it comes to private versus public school. I feel like there are benefits to both and just to hear people's different opinions on different situations, you kind of understand what you have and the things that what people didn't have or maybe have in different places, people had different types of benefits. And I look at it like, you know, if you if you want the best for your child and you want your child to succeed and just what you feel is greater for your child to succeed and how you feel it's going to determine the next stages of your child's life because you are guiding them through the best experience from this point on until they get to a point in their life where they can, you know, they can steer their own experience and, and walk their own journey. Um, I feel like at your younger stages, that's your learning stages and that's the most important time for you to consume the information that's going to make your, your mind disciplined to take on what the future has to hold. So you guys let me know, have you went to private school or did you go to public school? And what do you think the benefits of your schools that you came up with, or maybe some of the similarities that you have that uh, you can relate to. But if um, you have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, leave a comment down below. If you wanna just say what's up, leave a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. So next time it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know to do this channel.